What is up guys, Emil here, and today's video is going to be a Qt tutorial showing you how to let your user pick an image from their computer and then how to display that image in Qt, of course. So let's just get started. I have an empty QWidgets application right here. So what I'm going to do first is add a, a push button, say choose an image, make it bigger so we can see the text, and call that BTN image. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and add a, a label on which we're going to be displaying the actual image once the user has picked it. Remove the text, call that LDL Im image. And there we go. And then let's just go ahead and create a slot for, well, go for the clicked slot on our choose image button. There you go. So on BDN image clicked. So what we're be, going to be doing here is uh, opening a Q file dialog in order to let our user pick an image. So let's just go into our headers file and include Q file dialogs. So just like that, go back to our uh, slot here and say Q string file name which uh, is a QString variable which will be stocking the file name of course of the selected image and then QString uh, Q file dialog get open file name file name uh, parent is this caption will be choose um, next up uh, directory I don't want anything specific so just an empty one and then the filter, of obviously we only want images, so images, parentheses, and then uh, PNG, JPEG, JPEG, of course, again, uh, BMP, maybe GIF, and that's gonna be all for this tutorial at least. So let's just close everything up, semicolon. So right now all we have is uh, program that opens up a file dialog on the push button to let our user load an image. What we need next is to see if the user actually picked an image. So let's see if the file name is equal to an empty uh, QString, which is what would be returned in case our user canceled the file dialog. So let's just go ahead and compare it to QString. If it's different than zero, of course, it means that a file name is not equal to the empty Q string, therefore we have an image. Now, let's actually create our Q image variable, which will be uh, containing the actual image, and create a bo boolean in order to see if our loading actually works. So I'm going to call it uh, so, let's see valid and it's going to be equal image dot load and then our file name so if the actual file of the image is corrupted or just invalid uh, valid will be false otherwise it will be true so let's go ahead and say if valid and this is the point at which we'll be actually loading our image onto our, our label so UI dot uh, LB, well, LBL image and then set pix map and then we're going to be saying Q pix map from image and then just put our image in there and that's all we need to do. L, you can also add an else of course and then just add some error handling here but that's basically all you have to do in order to get your PixNax set up. So let's run our program right now and see how everything works. So we press the button. Let's go into our Dropbox and choose an image. And there you go. Obviously the image isn't scaled right now. If you want to be uh, scaling your image to your label before setting it up, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do that. It's actually really simple. So let's just go back again to our image and say image equals image dot scaled to let's say scale to the width of our uh, LDL image. 
end, uh, let's just make it smooth. So Qt smooth transformation. So the actual scaling isn't too rough on our image. And that should give us a pretty good result. So let's build our project once again, choose an image. We're gonna go ahead and choose the same image, just so you see. And there we go, we have our image well scaled and the result is looking nice and sharp. So there we go guys, that is, that is how you load an image from your user's computer onto your application into a label. Uh, obviously I could go into a bit more detail but that's really all I need to show you the basics of the image indeling and the QFile dialog. So hopefully that helped some of you guys and yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If that did help you, go ahead and leave a comment or if you have any issues leave a comment as well and leave a like on the video and I will see you next time.